it, sir. Okay. How fighting, are you? Good. Yeah, fighting in Vegas. Uh, I mean, it's not quite the the strip experience and that sort of thing. But it, I mean, is it still special for you? Uh, it's just another fight. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wondered about that. You, the, the the atmosphere, the location doesn't doesn't necessarily mean anything for you. No, I mean it's nice to get some sun. That's about it. It's been raining a lot in England, so. Abu Dhabi, uh, a different environment, right? Everything that we had to go through over there and the, the, the situation. I mean, w- it, it, I'm still very annoyed about that because they they locked me up for the whole week before my fight. I wasn't even allowed at my hotel room, so it was like a week of solitary confinement. I couldn't sleep, anything. It, it, it was I'm, I'm fucking pissed off about it, to be honest. Yeah, well, that's why I wanted to ask. I mean, it was such a challenging environment for you, especially. I wondered if it was especially difficult. You can't, I, I wasn't able to acclimatize. I couldn't go outside. I'm just in my hotel room. I got people testing me at silly times in the morning. I can't train with my team. It, it was just a ridiculous situation to be in. And my, the cornerman that did get tested positive, they put him in another hotel and he had two negative tests. So I don't really, I don't understand what the situation was there. I don't know whether it's some gambling politics or something. I don't know, man. So with that last fight, I mean, can you take? I mean, do you take any lessons out of it, or you just go like, let's just write that whole situation? Nah, brilliant, out? brilliant experience, you know. Um, you know, I, t- uh, I took, I took my, I, I took my loss on the chin, and you know what? I come back and I'm, I'm, I'm stronger for it. So, it's yeah. all good. Well, I know you're not the kind of guy to make excuses, but I mean, does that, I mean, would you say that all the difficulties made it very difficult for you to fight as well? Hundred percent, hundred percent. It, it definitely, you know, at this level, it's a game of inches, you know, and and. And when, when stuff like that's happening, it's not good. But, uh, you know, I learned, I learned a lot of lessons from the fight, and it's made me stronger, so I'm back here ready to rumble. Nice. Was there any part of you that thought, like, at some point along that week, like, let's just not do this, it's, it's, it's not the right situation? Um, I was frustrated, but I wanted to fight, you know what I mean? I, that's what I came for, you know, and, and it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like I say, I, I still enjoyed the experience, you know. I, I, love, I love getting there and fighting, and, you know, I can't wait for this one. Very nice. So the situation here, is it, is it better this time around? Yeah, yeah, much better. You know, I got here a little bit early to acclimatize as well, um, make sure my weight's good so everything's running smooth. Nice. There's the hopes to fight in the U.K., though, soon, maybe before the end of the yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Sounds like they're trying to put something together, right? Did that excite you when you heard about yeah, that? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard about that. You know, it'd be it'd perfect timing as well if, if it is the, the day that people are saying, you know, so, yeah. Nice. What's the focus been since your last fight now? What's, uh, what's the goal been in training and kind of the, the, the mindset? Yeah, just keep improving, you know. I feel like I, I, I've been making good progress and, you know, and what's been good is I've, I've been getting a lot of uh, octagon timing, you know, so just keep being consistent. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up, you know. I'm, 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 I'm loving what I'm doing, and, and, you know, I'm heading into my prime years. Nice. So for people that are evaluating you, do you think that last performance they should throw it out and be like, hey, they, they, remember, you know, don't, don't look at that one? People can do what they want. At the end of the day, it's like I'm fighting. I've only ever fought in my career one guy that's had less fights than me. Ahmed, I've nearly had double the fights. You know, th- these people had a lot. I'm learning on the job, you know what I mean? I come into the UFC, I was like 7-0 and 0 when I got into the UFC. So, you know, I'm learning on the job. And uh, I'm getting better every fight, and, you know, you'll see this Saturday. That's awesome. You sound passionate right now. Have you, have you always had passion for it, or were there times where you didn't necessarily love the game so much? You know what? I've been, I've been doing this since I was very young. Like, I started mixed martial arts at 16. I made my f- professional debut at 18. You know, I've had, I've had some serious injuries along the way and stuff like that. And it's a hard road, but, you know, the, the, the challenge has made me better. So, you know, I, I, love, I love it. This, this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm born to do. That's awesome. How about the media and talking to us? Do you, do you enjoy that yet, or is it a little uh, take it or leave it? Yeah, it's part of the job, you know. I mean, I, I don't mind, man. You know, it, it is what it is. Like. Nice. Talk about the matchup you have with Antonio. Uh, what do you think about him? Evaluate him. What do you see? Um, he, lo- he looks like the type of guy who's just going to try and blast kicks at range. <clears throat> you know, I'm looking to get close to him and punch holes for him. So it's, it's like that. He'll probably, you know, these guys... I think once they feel feel my power, they'll probably end up shooting or something or getting desperate. You know what I mean? So I don't, th- I can't see many guys wanting to stand with me, to be honest. Yeah. So I think I would have kind of a student of the game. You are. Are you a student of other people as well? Do you like do you study their tape and break them down, or did you leave that to other people? Well, it's quite funny. Like I, I co- like I coach at, at at my gym back home, and any of uh, my guys that I'm helping, I'll study their guy loads. But for my guy, I like to focus on myself and let my coaches. Kind of study him. I'll, I'll have the odd look, but I don't want to study him too much because I'm focused on, on what I'm going to do as well, you know. But I have an idea of, of, of this guy's game, you know. Did, did he impress you at all? I mean, did, did you know about him uh, ahead of time? There were so many names to keep track of these days. Yeah, it, this, it was the first I heard of him. Um, but, you know, everyone in the UFC is a, a solid fighter, man. This, if, if it was easy, it wouldn't excite me. Uh, you know, it's the challenge and 
this is what I'm here for, you know, I'm here for the challenge and, and to bring the best out of myself. That's awesome. The last one was a little bit of a setback, right? But I mean, it, it felt like it was kind of a big opportunity. Does this feel like, I don't know, you're kind of back on track a little bit? Like, I mean, do you feel like people should talk about rankings and contenders and all that? Uh, like I say, people can say what they want. I'm, I, I have belief in myself. I believe I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the top one day, and I'll just keep pushing. And I persistence. That's it, persistence. And I'll be persistent until I can't do this no more. Nice. Last thing for me. What's the goal? I mean, obviously, clearly you want to win the fight, but I mean, are there thir is there a message you want to send, or, or something you want to prove to yourself, or something you want to see? Like, what do you want to get out of Saturday? Every fight, I'm coming for the knockout. I always come for the knockout. I have four first round knockouts in the UFC out of five wins. I'm always gonna come for the knockout, and that's it.